Hello, people. Welcome to a long overdue episode of California Carpenter. Uh, I'm going to take you through how to do a hot water heater replace. As you can see, this one from 1991 in the place that Joey and I rent uh, has exploded. It blew water all over the floor, leaked out of the garage. We had to move absolutely everything to get in here. Now, because this is a rental, we could let our landlord send somebody over, but the guys he sends over, they're not qualified to do this, so I thought about running you through how to replace a water heater in case this happens to you. Sometimes the burner underneath burns through the tank and the water just comes out, which is what happened to this. I've seen it before, especially since it's 20-something years old. First thing you want to make sure is on your gas line, which this is, that you shut the gas off. When it runs perpendicular with the, or parallel with the pipe, gas is on, perpendicular is off. And you also shut off the gas over here. Turn this off. If there's on, pilot and off, turn it to off. That way there's no leaky, leaky gas. This is your overflow or spill out. So you disconnect that flex line. The water intake line, which is identifiable by a valve, and then the fresh water. Or no, that's the hot water where the hot water goes out, fresh water goes in. Blah blah blah. So you take those off and you take them down, and you put a new one in and you know, this is kind of for records too in case the Owner said, that wasn't broken and you just wanted to buy a new water heater so you didn't have to pay all the rent. No, penis. Your stuff blew up. Okay. We made sure the gas is off, the water's off, up here, and everything's copacetic so you can take your crescent wrench and you can start with taking the gas line off. Because these are old fittings, be ginger when you take them off. Don't thrash them around. Just kind of take them and flex them out to the side. But be careful on them. Somebody wasn't very careful on this one and bent the crap out of this pipe. So be careful or you'll be replacing that too. Next thing I'm going to do is take these off at the flex lines. This one here for the breather. You can tell the breather because it's got this pop-off valve. And that's also how you drain it. If you hook up a hose to the bottom, you pop that open and it'll burble, burble, burble and drain out, okay? Because otherwise you turn that and nothing's going to happen. And then I'm going to take these two off the hot water out, hot water out, and the cold water in. I'm going to take them off at these nuts. You also should probably measure the height of your current water heater because if you get, just go down and go buy one, chances are, dude, it ain't going to fit. You got problems with bent tubes and everything else, which that's what that is. So, all right, Joey and I are back from Lowe's, called the landlord, and he decided to spring for the the awesome sauce one that's got a 12 year warranty on it um, and he bought all the fittings too so we're gonna s install this pig Dan is because Joe is going to work ah figures and uh, we'll get it in a package and I'll show you how to install it easy alright first things first since uh since it's all going to be new, this flex line can be replaced, which Bob bought with all brand new fittings. And we're going to hook that up. I'm going to be using Teflon tape on everything. Every connection gets Teflon tape, okay? You don't screw around with these, so you get it set up right and you'll be alright. I hope. We'll see. But just replace all the, the bad stuff if you can, or the old stuff. Especially the, the pipes that go on top. Sometimes they get corroded and you don't want that going into your tank. Okay, new gas line is on. 
I also use Teflon tape just to prevent leaking. Now, typically on gas lines, you use this stuff called pipe dope, but I don't have any pipe dope. So, uh, we're going with the Teflon, and I'll show you how to check for leaks. Next are the universal heat trap nipples, and they go on the top, and they have these little traps and trap doors in the end that keeps the hot water from you know vaporizing blowing out it keeps the heat in and it doesn't matter which end you put it in but you want to also wrap them in the Teflon tape which is this stuff and insert them in the top which I will show you in one second okay gas line hooked up pressure relief valve relief line I had to recycle this part this little galvy tube not a big deal Cold water inlet. Cold water inlet is in attached to the nipples. I put on the little trap doors. And what I did, I made sure they went with the flow so it didn't just like damn it or slow it or whatever. It says you can put them either way, but you know what? Why not just go with the flow? Get it? Anyway, I'm going to turn on the water in a second. I'm going to put the. Uh, vent tube back in, but I want to make sure that doesn't leak. And speaking of leaks, checking for the gas leak. This is the soap that I use for gold tannin. I'm going to put a little soap on every little hole. Soapy water. Soapy water, soapy water, see? And then you turn it on and you watch for bubbles. Any bubbles show up? I've seen guys check these with lighters. That's stupid. Don't check gas lines with fire. That's just retarded. If you have a leak anywhere, a bubble will come up. No bubbles. And you're not going to blow anything up because you're being stupid and checking for gas leaks with a match. All it takes is to blow in there and you got a major problem. <laughs> this thing has an electric start on it, which is kind of cool. You just push a button, tick, 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 and it lights up. So I'm going to go turn on the water, see if any water sprays out. I shut off the main, so we'll see. Okay, main water's been turned on. I'm going to turn on here to fill the tank. See if any leaky leaky. You hear the water. No leaky leaky. That is good. Leaky, leaky. That's working pretty good. Right on. I didn't screw up. I'm going to have to move this black slime out of the way so I can get the vent tube in. And then I'm going to insulate the hot water one so it doesn't cool. This will act like a radiator, especially if it's cold out here. It'll cool the water down. So I'm going to wrap some pipe insulation around that. Put the vent tube back in and I'll show you what's up after that. Alright, you can barely you can barely see that I got the pilot lit inside there. Um, when you shut the gas off on any gas appliance, there's a little buildup of air so it takes a second for it to get from point A to point B. So if it doesn't light right away, stop, let the gas escape and then try it again. Don't keep sitting there trying to go with it on with the pilot light pushed down. You push down on it and it lights it. Uh, otherwise it'll boom. You know, don't do that. Boom is bad. And then you just turn it to the regulated pressure you want and it should light. But you did. Cooking up big time, baby. You got a B setting. got a bunch of settings on it so I need to kind of read this it's a new kind of valve this is your valve gas valve assembly this would be your pilot line this one and or no burner line pilot line and then one of these is the hookup this one right here is for your thermocouple which sits next to the uh, the pilot and it's just a little stupid rod that gets hot Okay, got the filter skirt on the bottom. They vent from the bottom to feed the fire. Uh, 
If you don't put one of these on, it sucks it in, it gets stuck in the burner, clogs stuff up. You want to keep these filtered and keep these areas clean around your water heater. Oftentimes when these fail, they'll suck dirt in and in the orifices of the burner, those little holes, they'll clog up with the dust. It also gets into the, the pilot, which is over here in the corner. This is dangerous stuff. I have another video about how to do a, a heater, which goes more into detail on how to clean them, which you have to do that on a heater every year. Or you run a risk of blowing yourself up. And it'll definitely not work as good. I've got the vent tube back on. It just sits on this hat and then rides all the way up to the top. I've also wiped down the top completely dry to make sure that there's no leaky leaky. And there is no leaky leaky. The only thing left to do is to put this pipe insulation, foamy stuff, on this pipe. And then it'll be a done deal. You only have to insulate the hot one. It doesn't matter on the inlet. Just this one. If you keep this hot, you'll save money. There's also one on that in case it spills out that this doesn't, this will absorb the heat rather than the switch if you need it. If you have problems, you just pop that up and it spits out the excess hot so it doesn't blow up. So, hopefully nothing explodes. It all works good. And, uh, blah 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 something I forgot to mention to be able to check the leaks on the hot water itself because it won't tell you if it's leaking if you don't turn on the hot water so I'm gonna come over here to the shop sink and turn on the hot water but there was a lot of air that came into the line when that drained so all of that was there plus all the air that got into the lines so when you turn this on, don't freak out if it blows out a lot of air, especially since the heat is heating up the water and it's creating air pressure. So it's going to happen, just don't freak out. You ready? Watch. The water that's spitting out of it now is residual. Here it comes. It should come out. Spit it out. Go on. Spit it out. Come on. I can feel it. It wants to. It may take a second. Came inside. Turned on the hot water. Flowing. It's not exactly hot yet, but there's no leaks out there, and that's what you want to do. The hot water needs to be running in order to make sure that the hot water line coming into the house isn't leaking. All right, people. Still no leaks. Got everything put back. It's not all crazy sauce. And I know you think that maybe this one lost pressure and didn't work. You just, you got to wait. Got to wait it out. See? It's working. And man, is that water hot. I don't recommend playing in the hot water on this one, babies. <laughs> Piece of cake, though. And uh, remember, if that ever happens to you or it just starts blasting water out of the bottom and not out of any of the valves, if it's a gas one, shut the gas off there and the flow off up there because if it continues to leak, the burner will keep acting like it doesn't have any hot water in there and eventually it burns through, it gets super hot and you have a fire or an explosion. So it's a good thing we caught that. Had we waited all night, it would have been a nightmare. Could have been bad, babies. There you have it. For California Carpenter, save your landlord 300 bucks ish in labor. So, peace out, babies.